Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth on Now You Know. Sponsored by a abetterrootplanner.com. Congratulations to a better root planner for reaching 10 million roots planned. And now they're releasing version 3.8, which will have better speed limits, better alternate routes, more cars, and they're bringing back the good old navigation mode. Need a better root planner? A abetterrootplanner.com. And sponsored by Bior. Build your own robot. Bring robotics to the kids level. And brought to you by ecoware.us, where we have new designs uploaded every week. I've got a new one this week. My hmm. car runs on sunshine. That's excellent. We are carbon neutral because not only do we plant a tree for every order, but we carbon offset the manufacture, the shipping, and the life cycle of your product. And you help support us here on the show. We're also going to be at Fully Charged Live down in Austin in February. So we have a discount code for buying tickets. You can find the link for that down below. So I know we talked about this on a recent Tesla Time News, that Teslas are getting safer and safer. But I think that it's important to really dive into the numbers and really understand what's going on here. So if you take a look at this chart here from hypercharts.co, and we highly recommend going to hypercharts. They've got fantastic charts there. You can actually start to understand this data because I'll be honest when you start talking about accidents per hundred thousand miles it's kind of hard to picture every month what what what's going on mm -hmm. but what we're seeing here are some lines on the chart when you first look at it you might just focus on the top three lines which are Tesla's lines wait there's another line in this chart oh yeah if you look down the bottom there there's a yellow line and that's our kind of baseline that is NHTSA's safety data that shows you in the United States that there's an automobile crash every 498,000 miles in the last quarter. So now knowing that, you see that the Tesla lines are much higher than that. And that means that you can go many more miles before you get into an accident if you're an average driver driving in a Tesla. This is actual data. This is actual recorded data from Tesla. Let's take a look at these lines here. So the first one there, the red one is on autopilot. So you're in a Tesla on autopilot. How less likely to get into an accident? one accident for every 4.34 million miles or about eight and a half times safer than an average driver in America. So compared to that NHTSA line, so going all the way up to 4.3 million miles, you're talking almost nine times safer? Yep. Now, not everyone is going to be driving an autopilot all the time in a Tesla, right? So that's where this next line comes in. This green line here shows uh, driving in a Tesla with the safety features engaged. Right. And so by safety features in engaged, we mean uh, automatic emergency braking. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a whole host of other things, including lane departure warnings, uh, lane departure assists, mm -hmm. where the car will actually steer itself back into the lane when you're if you've just like let go of the the car and it's, and it's drifting off the side of the road and also uh lane change warnings if you're changing lanes into someone it will it will give you a warning so with all of these features engaged you are going to be a lot less likely to get into an accident while driving so if you look at that green line that is what that number represents and as you can see it has been climbing and it is much higher than the baseline the NHTSA data which is the yeah. average driver driving the average car and so we're talking about almost six times safer with those safety features engaged and then this last blue line is driving a Tesla with no safety features engaged this is a little interesting so the only difference between the average driver here and this blue line is that they're driving a Tesla. So right. this means A, Tesla driver. So let's, maybe they're better drivers, maybe they're not, who knows? And you're driving Tesla. So you do have that option to slam on the accelerator and get the heck out of Dodge. So if someone's coming into your lane, that's another option. Instead of braking, slamming on the brakes, you have the option to speed out of the, out of the way. So right. that, that could, could be, be a potential reason. Right. But as you can see, year over year, that number has not increased, right? If we're looking at Q3 of last year of 2018, you see that that number was higher. And so now Tesla drivers on average are doing a little bit worse. But you can see that for the other two lines, it's going up because the safety features are getting better. And it's a little bit lumpy data because each quarter in the United States represents uh, different months, right? And so if it's some of the darker months, some of the uh, colder months, you're going to have more accidents. So you can't just look at the data month over month, you're going to have to kind of level it off. But generally, as we're seeing here, it's going up. Now, that's a lot of numbers. And to wrap your head around it, I think we could go with something like saying Tesla's with autopilot are almost nine times safer than average other cars. 
I don't think that you could go with that almost nine times safer. Uh, because, let's face it, you're not always going to be an autopilot. I okay. mean, I'm sure that there are some people who bought a Tesla and decided, I'm going to drive this thing every day on the highway. I'm going to... I'm just going to be getting from place to place. I'm a lone wanderer. That's my, you know, that's your whole thing. But most people, you know, live in a house. So they, when, if they want to get anywhere, they have to leave the house, drive around the neighborhood. Maybe you get to the highway, you take the highway, then you drive some, you know, off the highway roads. Okay, that's to, a good point. To get to the mall, wherever you're going. So what would you argue for? I'm going to argue for six times safer. I think that if you're driving a Tesla with your safety features engaged, and you're probably going to be using some autopilot, a conservative number would be six times safer. Okay, so let's look at some stats here because mm -hmm. the stakes are really high. There are, on average, six million car accidents in the United States every year. And in those accidents, three million people are injured. And of those people, two million are injured permanently. And in those accidents, 37,461 people in 2017 died and in the world 1.2 million people per year die in car accidents so according to nitsa the average u.s driver travels approximately 500,000 miles before getting into an accident so we just spouted out a lot of facts there and i think for the average person they'd like to be able to share this data with friends and family mm -hmm. but they're not going to be like okay i think the boys said 498,000. Uh, i don't know so can you help me boil it down yeah so let's look at it this way if you drive a tesla like an average american so 13,000-ish miles a year, and you drive for 37 years, there is a one in six chance that you will get into an accident. Wait, so Wait, wait. After 37 years mm -hmm. in a Tesla driving average, there's a one in six chance I'll get into an accident? So it's like you're playing Russian roulette. With your car? With your car. How do you do that? Uh, well, you put a bullet in a revolver, uh -huh. six-chamber revolver. You, you spin the cylinder, and then you aim it at... at Usually it's your head if you're playing Russian roulette, but we're talking about cars okay. and accidents. So you aim it at your car, okay. you pull the trigger, uh -huh. and it either goes click or it goes bang. Okay. And there is a five and six chance that it you're not going to get in an accident in 37 years, Okay. but there is a one in six chance that you will get in an accident. Okay, but what if I don't have a Tesla? Then you're going to need to put five more bullets in the gun because statistically there's a 100% chance that you are going to get in an accident. Wait, what? So according to NHTSA, the average U.S. driver travels approximately 500,000 miles before getting into an accident. That means that if you are the average American who drives 13,474 miles a year, then you will statistically get into an accident every 37.1 years. Statistically, on average. If you're driving a Tesla, that goes down to one-sixth. So you're telling me that if everyone in the US drove a Tesla, then instead of the 6 million car accidents per year, there would only be 1 million car accidents? Yeah. And so instead of the 2 million people who are permanently injured, there would be about 333,000? Uh, actually, I think it would be lower because Teslas have the lowest probability of injury of any car, which means that if you do get into an accident, you have the lowest percent chance of getting injured from that accident. Okay, and so following that reasoning some more, instead of 37,461 deaths in the US every year, there would be 6,243. And again, it would be lower because again, Teslas are safer when they're in an accident, not only just driving out on the roads. And so if we just applied this to the world, if the world all drove Teslas, it would save over a million lives a year? Yes statistically. So, I mean, if you are not blown away by this, you must not have a full understanding of math because this is the data. And I know that we're looking at Q3 numbers right now, but as you can see, quarter over quarter, the numbers are going up. It's trending up, which means more miles before accidents, which means that it is statistically safer to drive a Tesla. Yeah. I mean, I just want to make that point clear. Teslas are getting safer all the time. It's not like you have to buy a new Tesla for it to be safer. They're getting They're safer. They're getting safer. Right. You buy a car and it gets safer over time. Is there, Are there any cars like that? Have there ever been any cars like that before? Where, you know, we're not strapping armor plating to these cars. These are over-the-air software updates. 
These are things that are happening in your driveway. No one needs to walk up to your car or anything. It's just through the internet. Now, Jesse and I kept this in depth short because I think this is something you might want to share with people. You'll hear people argue all the time about the cost of ownership of a Tesla or whether it's dirtier than a ICE car or whatever, and it can get pretty complicated. But this is clear. These cars are the safest cars on the road and these cars save lives. And if you share this video with someone and it causes them to get into a Tesla next time, instead of a car that's more likely to get into an accident and then more likely to hurt them when they are in one, you'll be doing them a favor. Exactly. I mean, just think about it. If you are telling someone who is going to be driving a car for the next 37 years to buy a Tesla and they drive a Tesla, it doesn't have to be the same car for 37 years, using just if they never improved it ever beyond today, then they would be a one sixth less likely to get in an accident. It, it, another way to look at it is actually you'd be able to go over 200 years of driving a car without getting into an accident statistically. Wow. So, chew on that. Now you now know. You know.